सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल सो लेट सॉल्व दिस टूडेज प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द डे सो वी आर गिवन एन अनसोटेड एरिया ऑफ इंटीजर्स नम्स वी हैव टू रिटर्न द लेंथ ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट कॉन्जिक्यूटिव एलिमेंट्स सीक्वेंस राइट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर गिवन हंड्रेड फोर टू हंड्रेड वन थ्री टू सो अवर आउटपुट विल बी फोर राइट वाई बिकॉज द लॉन्गेस्ट कॉन्जिक्यूटिव एलिमेंट सीक्वेंस इज वन टू थ्री फोर हेयर इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट कॉन्जिक्यूटिव नंबर्स Consecutive numbers are defined as those numbers that follow each other in increasing order, right? From smallest to largest, with no missing number in between them. For example, if we talk about even numbers, then if we see a two, four, six, eight, ten, then all are consecutive numbers, right? Because in that case, we are talking only about even numbers, so no number is missing between them, right? So that are consecutive elements. So similarly, in second case, we have all consecutive numbers as zero. वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन ऑल आर प्रेजेंट अप टू एट सो टोटल इज नाइन राइट फ्रॉम जीरो टू एट टोटल कॉन्जिक्यूटिव एलिमेंट्स आर नाइन सो हेर इट्स गिवन दैट वी कैन डू इट इन बिग ऑफ एंड टाइम ऑल्सो लेट्स फर्स्ट सी द नाइ वे अप्रोच फॉर इट सो लेट्स सी दिस फर्स्ट एस केस गिवन राइट सो हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड वन थ्री टू सो लेट अस स्टोर इट इन अवर सेट वाई बिकॉज If duplicate elements are present, it it will get deleted, right? We will not get duplicate elements. Hundred, four, two hundred, one three two. Now how we will check for consecutive elements, right? So at our index zero here, right? So we have hundred. We will check for array of i minus one, right? We will check for ninety nine. Is it present in our set or no, in set or not? So our original array is. These are same in set as a set. So we will check here. We will check for ninety nine. Is it present in our set? No, it is not present. Present, right? So we'll count the maximum consecutive length four hundred. So we will now check for one zero one also. For array of i plus one also. One zero one. Is it present in our set? No, it is not present, right? So up to this, our maximum consecutive sequence is one only. Let's say this is hundred, right? So now we will come to index two, index one, which is four. What we will check is, is is four minus one? Is four minus one is three? Is three present in the set? Yes, it is present in the set, right? So we'll continue <coughs> with our next index, right? We will continue at our index two now. So up to here, our count is one, right? so we came at index 2 right came at 0 1 2 three, 4 we came here now so checking for 200 right so we get maximum consecutive sequences one up to this 200 we will not check for 200 at this 199 is also not present 201 is also not present in the set right So now checking four at our index three, it is one. One one minus one is zero. Is zero present in our set? No, it is not present. We will continue our search. Now we came here, right? We came here. We came at our index four, which is three. Three minus one is two. It is already in our set, right? It is already in our set. So we will go to next iteration, which is two, right? Two minus one is one. One is also present, right? So even when we came here, when we came here at four, right? We are checking for four. Four minus one is three, right? So we don't have to iterate again and again, right? Four minus one is three, right? Three is present. Now we will search again. We will search again because we have to find the logarithmic sequence. Three minus one is two. Yes, two is also present. Now two minus one is one. Yes, one is also present, right? We are only checking for four. Our element as four. Right, two one is also present. One minus one is zero, but zero is not present. So up to this hour, our longest sequence will be four one three two. Right. So or in sorted array you can say that one two three four. Right. So in this way we'll calculate our maximum consecutive sequence. So this will be our naive naive approach. So what we will do is we will sort our array. We'll sort our array. So after sorting it will be one two three four. Hundred and two hundred, and let take one vector to store our elements, right? So we'll store 
the element at index is 0 it is 1 right so now we will run a for loop from here right from here so we will check if for current element which is array i if array of i minus 1 so if array of i minus 1 plus 1 is equal to our array of i right if our previous element plus 1 is our current element right then only we will do count we will do count plus plus in only that case right because our array is sorted in that case right so now our count becomes 1 right so now we came here to 3 2 3 right now it is our array of i array of i minus 1 is now 2 so now array of i minus 1 plus 1 is 3 right so our current element is 3 right so we will do count plus plus so previously our count has 1 now it became 3 now so we came to 4 here right now 4 so now 3 plus 1 4 our current element is 4 yes so we'll do count plus plus it is 4 right because for current element which is 4 is array of i minus 1 plus 1 is our current element is array of i minus 1 array of i minus 1 is 3 plus 1 is our current element yes it is our current element then only we will do count plus plus right so in this case time time complexity will be n log n right because we are sorting the array and we are not using any space it will be big of one but it will not be accepted in the interviews because it has more time complexity so let's see its code once so here is the code for our naive, naive approach right so we so i already written the code to save the time so we are taking one variable and again variable count to count our final answer right so first we are sorting we first we are sorting none we are taking vector right only auxiliary space so we are pushing our first element right so now we are running one for loop from i is equal to 1 we will insert repeated elements only once in the vector right we will remove our duplicate elements now we are finding the maximum length by traversing the array right so we are traversing our array right so now we will check if the current element is equal to the previous element plus 1 as already discussed right for example after sorting after sorting the first array given we will get 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and 100 200 right so now we will check we will check from here from 2 is a uh, 2 minus 1 which is 1 now 1 plus 1 is a is our current element or not yes 1 plus 1 2 2 is our current element yes only we will do our count plus plus right else what we will do is we will reset our count because we have to get the consecutive elements because means no missing element should be there in between right else we will reset our count else we will do reset our count so we will update our maximum right so our answer at last will be maximum of 0 of 0 and count right at last we will return our answer so let's try this naive approach so yeah, we are getting the right answer so but it, its time complexity is n log n so let's try to optimize it so we can do it in big of n time so let's see how we will do it so so inefficient approach what we will do is we will use hashing right so we will use hashing here so first we will create an empty hash right so then we will insert all array elements to hash right so we will do following things for every element array right so we will check if this element is the starting point of a subsequence to check this we will simply look for array of i minus 1 in the hash if not found then this is the first element of a subsequence so now if this element is the first element right then we will count the number of elements in the consecutive starting with this element then we will iterate from array of i plus 1 till the last element that can be found so so let's try run it and what we will do is if count is more than the previous longest subsequence right so then we will update it so let's try on it for example uh, we have given 1 9 3 uh, 10 4 22 right we are given with this so we are given with this array 
so after putting it in our set it will be same right because no duplicate element is there 1 9 3 10 4 22 right so we'll place all our elements in the set and it's let it be set and it is our given array right this is our set and this is our given array right and answer is now zero so a o 5 minus 1 now is not present in our set right a o 5 minus 1 here a o 5 minus 1 will be 1 minus 1 0 is 0 present in our this set no it is not present right so up to this our answer is 0 right so we will check for 9 so now even we don't have to look for next element right because uh, let's say we checked from we checked from for array of i minus 1 for our current element right so now what we will do is if this this element is the first element then we will count the number of elements in the consecutive starting with the element right so we will now iterate from array of i plus 1 till the last element that can be found right so now we have 1 now what we will search for array of i plus 1 will be 2 now we will search for 2 is 2 present in the set yes it is present now we will search for array of 5 plus 1 now is 2 plus 1 3 is 3 present in our set yes it is present now we'll check for 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 right 4 is also present right so we have now 1 2 3 4 as our consecutive element maximum we have to find maximum now we can even check more is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 5 present or not no it is not present then we will stop here right so this will be our maximum maximum count and we will keep updating our answer as max of answer of 4 initially our answer is 0 right so in this way we will check for each element right for example now we came to 9 right now let's check for array of 5 plus 1 right now 9 plus 1 is 10 is 10 present in the set yes it is present now 10 plus 1 is 11 is 11 present in the set no it is not present then we will stop so for our array element 9 our count is 2 right our count is no 2 which is 9 and 10 it's maximum consecutive element right so now our answer will be maximum of 2 and 4 right so we'll keep updating our answer right so it will be still 4 now we came to 3 we came to 3 right but we already checked for 3 right previously for 1 when searching for 1 we already checked for 3 then we will skip it now we came to 10 right so for 10 is 11 present no it is not present right so for it its maximum consecutive is only 1 so from maximum of 1 and 4 is still 4 so similarly we already checked for 4 4 4 is present right so we will check for 20 now is 20 plus 1 which is 21 21 present or not no not present and we will also check for 2 also so up to this up to this our maximum our maximum count was 4 out right which which was 1 2 3 and 4 so here count will be 4 and which will be our answer right so simply what we are doing is we are creating our empty hash right so now we are inserting all array elements to hash right so after inserting we are checking if the element is just if this element if this element for example in this case one if this element is the starting point of a subsequence yes it is a start, starting point here so to check this we will simply look for array of i minus one array of i minus one is one minus one is zero right is zero present in hash no it is not present if not found then this will be our first element right so then this will be our first element in a subsequence so now we have subsequence one right so now if the element if the element is the first element then we will count the number of elements in the consecutive right then we will count the number of elements in the consecutive starting with this element right we will iterate from array of i plus one till the last element we can find till the last element we can found. for example we have found one now so now array of 5 plus 1 which is 1 plus 1 is 2 is 2 present yes 2 is also present now 2 plus 1 is 3 we will keep checking we will keep checking till the last element that can be found 
so three is also present three plus one is four four present or not in the hash yes four is also present four plus one five five present or not no five is not present we will stop here so now for this for this first element so we have maximum uh, consecutive sub sequences one two three four and its count is four right so up to this our maximum answer is four right so we will keep checking for each element we will keep checking for each, each element so if the count is more than the previous longest subsequence found then we will keep updating this so as we are already seen while dry running so we have maximum answer as four for this given array right so let's understand it more by a code so here we are doing the same thing right so first we are creating an empty hash or you can say unordered set so now we are hashing all the array elements now for we are checking each possible sequence from the uh, start then update our optimal length right so if the current element is the starting element of a sequence right so then we will check for next element in the sequence right for example here we have th this we already seen this for example we have now um, in the set we have uh, put it in the set it is it is let's say one two it's let's so we had seen that test case which has one let's say nine three ten four twenty two right so now we'll check for one is it present in the set if is zero present in set or not nums of i minus one will be zero is it present in the set it is not present right so this will be our so this will be our uh, uh, first element of a subsequence right so here let's say it is a set and it is same as an array here right so now our set is one right so this is our first element of a subsequence now we will check for uh, we will mark it as a j right let mark it as a j right so now we will check for i plus one right array of i plus one we will check for two we will check for two is two present in the set yes it is present right so we will do count plus plus and now our sub sequence becomes one two now we will again check for array of i plus one array of i plus one now will be two plus one three is three present in our un un unordered set yes it is present then we will do count plus plus also and our now subsequence becomes one two three right and now we'll check for again array of i plus one right we are checking in this case uh, in this condition right how we are checking we marked it as a one now it is one right so now we are checking while last dot find j is not equal to last dot end right one is present in our unordered set it is one now and we do j plus plus j plus plus becomes two again we will check again we will check is two present yes two is present it become two here this is our longest uh, consecutive subsequence right again we will do j plus plus it becomes three now three present or not yes three is also present it will be added in our maximum consecutive subsequence right and we will do count plus plus up to this our count is three right we will again do j plus plus which is four right again we will check for four is four present in our unordered set yes it is present then we will do count plus plus also and this will be our maximum consecutive subsequence or you can check again also for four plus one which is five is five present no it is not present then we will stop right then we will stop up to this hour up to this hour maximum count is four right similarly we will check for nine right we will check for nine let mark it as j we will check for uh, array of i plus one which is ten right ten present yes ten present now we will check for ten plus one which is eleven eleven not present then we will stop so four nine four nine we have for nine we have a uh, maximum consecutive subsequence length as as two right or count as two right so now we'll keep updating our answer so now our max max will be max will be maximum of two and four maximum of two and four is four right so in this way we'll keep updating our answer right so at last we are simply returning our answer right so let's try to run it so yeah we are getting the right answer so talking about its time complexity so in this case it's big of n and you guys might think that 
it should be bigo fan square because we are using here while loop here in the in the for loop no it is not bigo fan square why because because here the inner while loop is dependent on the value from the outer for loop right for example we are checking for 193 10 right so let's say we are checking for 9 right so in this case we are only doing arrow 5 plus 1 right we are only checking for this element we are only traversing only once we are not traversing the whole set or whole, whole given array again and again we are not traversing it n times right so we are only traversing it only once right we are only traversing once so it will be big of one right we are only adding plus one to our current element in this in this condition right we are only adding plus one and we are checking after adding plus one in our set right is it present or not right we are not iterating it again and again we are only traversing it once for example we have nine we only added nine one plus two nine right so it will become ten now and we are checking uh, 10 is present in our set or not right we are not checking in the given array itself we are checking in our unordered set right so uh, talking about uh, space complexity you can say that we are talking auxiliary space which is temporary space and uh, time complexity will be <laughs> big of n because we will add the operations in instead of multiplying them right so it will be big of n plus n right so let's try to sum it So yeah, it got submitted. So you can check the working code in the comment box. And if you like the video, do share and subscribe, please. So thank you so much for being here. So let's meet tomorrow.